Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. Um, today I'm going to the Paddle Sport 2015, which is uh, northern New Jersey's chance to see what the latest uh, kayaks, canoes, boats, accessories, fishing stuff is out there uh, at this show. So today is March 28th, and thanks for joining me. Uh, let's uh, check it out. Sports show. The first booth I'm at is at the Epic, and this is called a surf ski. Very thin, very sleek. With these streamlined vessels, you need a kind of a cupped type of paddle. And you can change the angle very finely. You want the to offset with each other. Here are the feel-free kayaks. Great for kayak fishing. Comfortable seat. They made it much plusher and foamy, the seat. More comfortable. And they are known for the little wheel in the back, which makes it easy for these heavy kayaks to be pushed around from your car to the launch site. Town booth, and uh, I have a tandem camp canoe by them, and I love it very much, the camper version. And this is the new item for this year, the Old Town Next. Comes in three different unique colors, and it gives the experience, the seating of a raised seat kayak. Keep stability while you're paddling by putting your feet on these pegs here. This is basically a similar seat to the Predator it seems. The Predator kayak, also by Old Town. The specs on it is a thousand dollars price-wise, uh, 13 feet in length, 29 inch width, and the weight is 59 pounds. Poster it shows three colors, but here's a fourth color, which is nice. Blue. Yep, to confirm it is the same seat on the next canoe, which is on the Predator. So this is the very popular Predator line by Old Town. As kayak fishing has become so popular. It is kind of heavy for my taste, but if you have like a dolly, which you can pull from your car along the beach to the ocean or where, whatever body of water you're going to, it should be okay. There's the Predator XL. Here's the smallest and lightest of the Predator models. It's the Predator MX. also has the high-low seating. Price is normally $1,299. Native kayak booth. People are showing off the propeller, the attachment that goes into this kayak, which is cool because you pedal it like a bicycle. It's called the Propel. I may attach the seat. I just don't want to put it back. Also has the high-low seating. This is the Slayer 10, the shorter and lighter of the native kayaks. Yeah, the nice thing about this pedaling system is you can pedal forward and backwards. Correction, it's not a high-low seating. It's just one level. Hurricane booth, and they're known for their lightweight kayaks because they use a material called Trilon. This company is called Suspens and they have a great way to store your kayaks. Uh, I got one of these, the J-Rack, which was really great for my canoe to put flush up against the side garage. Very convenient. Interesting product, Oru Kayak. It's basically, it looks like cardboard, but it, it folds together. Super light. This guy 
is folding it up right now. interesting but it essentially creates this shape an actual kayak and when it's folded down it's actually it looks like that stand-up paddle board that you can go fishing off of very interesting nice little case here that matches the board this one is called the ace tech the company is called Bic. Bic Sup. You can put all sorts of attachments on it. Like a GoPro, cooler, attach a fishing rod. It's pretty amazing to have your own pier right on the water. What I like about this is this cooler here. It's really not made by Bic, but it's used as a nice accessory, so you can actually sit on it. Uh, this is how it's attached to the board, just by a bungee, or a strap rather. And that's the thing that kept me hesitant about looking into stand-up paddling, is because there's no place to sit. I mean, sure, you can just sit flat on the board, but here, you got a nice seat. This is the Orion cooler that we just saw on that stand-up paddleboard. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's made by Jackson Kayak. This is a smaller cooler. This cooler has these attachments for your rod holder. Drink. by Jackson Kayak and it's lightweight although it still has a lot of accessories on it so it's pretty heavy still because that seat itself is like 15 pounds in itself got a nice little night light here new recreational kayaks by Jackson Kayak like the tripper This is the Tupelo. Slightly raised seat. Interesting. Wilderness Systems. This is the Ride 115. And it is decked out. Love looking at this stuff. Raymarine Fish Finder. That's top end. Camera to catch your uh, fish shots and a little float with it. This is the Commander 120, also by Wilderness Systems. It looks like a canoe, except it has that comfortable seat with it. Rail systems for your ram attachments. And it's 65 pounds. The popular Pungo 120 by Wilderness Systems. And it's made in a lightweight material also. What's nice is this little shelf here for your drinks. Little compartment. It is 1,095. 40 pounds. Ultra light. Oh my god, this is my boat. The Winona Vagabond, except it's in a Kevlar material. That is cool. This must be super light. My boat is about just under 50 pounds. It's like 45 pounds. I wonder how much the weight of this is. 
because at the Thule booth there's the Hullivator so you can put your kayak easily on a SUV. Somehow it's hinged right here so it collapses down to the side of the car and makes it easy to take the boat off and put it back on. There you go. Tandem Island and you get the pedals for both the front and the back. Wilderness Systems Tarpon 120 Ultralight. The Tarpon series is very popular. Partly because of its simplicity and design and it tracks ver very well. At the uh, 12 foot length. This patterned uh, in camouflage, which is cool. And yeah, 43 pounds. Nice. Gotta have GoPro here. Hey, so that was cool. Thanks for uh, checking out the show with me. Uh, please subscribe for more uh, videos like this, and we'll see you next time. Bye.